You think you know me. Welcome to Bamboo Terrace. This remake always really did not steal the graphics from Enter the Dragonfly. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spyro 3 in Year of the Dragon. Actually, it's just Spyro Year of the Dragon. I hate you. Spyro, Rhinox have been harassing us all day. The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the Whirligig to take you to Evening Lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. Oh, they actually bring up the Whirly Gig. Also, that's literally the name of the next uh, transportation device. It's Whirly Gig. Also, apparently I got hit. Oh, no, yeah, thanks for making that a cutscene. Yeah, that totally has to be a cutscene because you can't do that with normal gameplay. No, 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 no. I don't like change! At least when you're changing things, make it better, instead of just annoying me. I kinda wanna say that was in the game, but unfortunately it's not. Or maybe it was in the game, I don't know. It kind of sounded like it would be coming out somewhere, apartment or whatnot. Also, this is one of the easiest decks you can literally get. You literally just jump to it and maybe quite a bit. It's not difficult. Anyway, here's my, here comes the disappointment that I was talking about. Look at this guy. He goes blood. He doesn't just go flying up into the air and exploding like he's supposed to. He just goes there. Also balls because that, that's what. There's a reason for balls always. Yeah, this is something that you can't do in, in, the, in the original. You, there was a cutscene for in the original. Makes sense. It's an animation, but it requires more than just having what? Excuse me, game. Apparently running into an enemy kills me. Good. Good. Good to know. This is a perfectly made game with no bugs whatsoever. Maybe that's not a bug and it's a feature. Still. Stop with the sound effects. Sound effects are completely unnecessary and kind of annoying. Also, Sparks, thanks for not that. Now we get to do more swimming because swimming is a thing. Luckily, there's no underwater levels for you to go through. Thank God. Although swimming really isn't that bad. Also, secret ones, the boulder runs away. If the game would actually break this, that would also be nice. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, four lives for you, just in case you actually need them. But you really don't. You really, really don't. Unless you like to do stupid stuff, like me. You wanna test the boundaries. Interesting fact. Take thief! Uh, there's an egg. That's currently invisible, but you can access it under preaching. You can actually access it in the original, early. Completely useless fact, but it's there. It just requires you to break the game a bit. Oh, they actually do explode. They just don't go fly into, flying into space, like a fire world rocket is supposed to. Also, this is literally a waterfall, so go too much over to the side and bye bye one life. Of course. 
Now there's a good reason why that egg is hidden under the bridge and you can't access it normally. The reason why it's there becomes obvious once I talk to this character. Oh, the emergency escape bridge! Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall activate it right away! We would be honored if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. You can probably hear the reason why the egg was hidden. Yep, the egg was hidden because the bridge was closed. Also, that looked like a gem from this angle. Doesn't it look like there's a gem there? From this angle, it looked like. Anyway, yeah, here's the reason why the bridge is closed. Uh, why the egg was invisible and in an area that you can't access. It's an egg thief. Get out of my way. Lolo just bulldoze you. But yeah, it's an egg thief and he's supposed to take you around the level. Luckily it's perfectly easy in this, it seems. Actually, that is, that is one of the harder eggs to, uh, egg thieves to get, ever. But here it's a, it's a cakewalk, apparently. They didn't even get to complete one lap. War explorers, there is no yeti here, and there never was. It was just a myth. He was just a myth, as far as you know. Whatever. The yeti. And hello, it's a uh, parents of the question mark bottle. Because all the things to bring back, it, it's that thing that's literally. The only purpose of that is to extend gameplay. But that, like that, that's the only reason why this exists. Because you break it, you go and find it. And it's not even remotely hidden. Like this is only padding the game. This is literally padding the game for those who want to 100% it. There's no other reason for it. Sometimes it's kind of useful. Like showing me that I missed that there. Actually, I didn't miss it, I just completely forgot it was there. Now normally this would be a really annoying thing. Actually in Spiral 2 this was really annoying because the, the levels were just linear levels and they didn't have a quick way from the beginning to the end and vice versa. So just in, like in Zephyr, I go all the way back to the beginning, break this, and if I missed any chance, I would have to go all the way back to the start. Luckily, not here. Thank God. Please help us, Spyro. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields. Those rotten Rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? Yeah, I can. Please hop aboard. Make sure to toast the Rhinox, but not my friends. Yep. You know what? What this game needs? Oh my god, what it what why are the controls reversed? Why are the controls inverted? Also, I need to test this immediately. Yes, you can hit the pandas. Sure you would succeed if you were to try again. Please help us, Spyro. Please yeah, yeah. You can actually toast the pandas. Now, yeah, that's a thing. Now, what, what I don't understand is why are the controls reversed? Like, up and down is reversed. I get that. It's a normal thing. But why is it that I press right, I go left? Also, I need to look back. Even though that uh, power gate said that this fire flame is infinite, I still have a timer. Because that makes sense. That makes total sense that I still have the timer. Even though it's infinite. Can I find you? Yes, I can, but you don't fail the mission. I'm actually surprised. 
I'm actually surprised that they didn't drop the game to be broken like that. Oh my god, you don't actually slow down at all. They actually have to hit you while in the air. Give it the second breaks. There we go. Hit you. Hit you. Sometimes it goes worse, sometimes it doesn't. But why is this bridge even a thing? They just run to the middle of the bridge. Please take the shiny egg. It will bring you good luck. Like, I don't understand the bridge part. They just literally run to the center of the bridge and they stay there, waiting to be whacked. Oh, thanks for finally giving me the controls back. I'd love to, but the game doesn't seem to think so. It just pushes me out. Also, as you can probably guess, that's pretty much all we can do here. As in Sparks is pointing that way, that means that for the third sta straight level, I didn't miss a single gem. I don't think I actually get gems finally. Instead of just paying money back all the time, we finally have some gems co uh, collected. Hooray, Hussar, that's a big woo. Now, I could go do the speedway, but I kind of said that I won't be doing that, so... Speedways are kind of special. So I'm gonna be saving them with the boss. Which unfortunately does mean that this episode is gonna be running really long because Enchanted Towers is a long level. It's really long level. And that also means that the <laughs> boss episodes are gonna be incredibly short. Fine, I'll give it a chance. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. Huh. If you ask me, the statue is far prettier than she is. I'm trying to get a gauge on this music, but I'm not getting it. Oh god, you actually aim at me, or fire at me. You asshole. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. There you go. Sorry, I can't. I can't. I really can't. I tried. I tried. I tried with the music. I really tried. But that, that just sounds really awful. That's, that's the worst piece of remake music ever. And I can't listen to that this entire level. I simply cannot. Or maybe I should just... Oh, fine. I'll turn it back. So I put this one part so we can get the loop done. Also, I do like the fact that I actually have to climb to the side of the platforms because I am too afraid of just plummeting down because this game is well made. Like, there I was just afraid that I was just gonna plummet to death because the climb was so, so short. Yeah, they, now it's... Now it's look, that guy. Get rid of that music, get rid of it. I, I hate that, I hate that. Like, this actually sounds like, like something. This actually sounds like a uh, music for this level. Although I don't remember that, that part being in it, but whatever. Oh, it wasn't this part. Hell man. Yeah, it, it's part of it. Yeah. Sorry, but that, that remake just sounds awful. Like, it's really awful sounding. So I am not bothering with it. 
I'm almost ready to reveal my latest piece of real-time four-dimensional performance art. I call it Hideous Exploding Witch Number Nine. Now, if you can just light the three rockets around here, my masterpiece shall be complete. I don't mind doing that. Okay. Positives. Thank God for not making the jump sound and making my ears explode. I appreciate that. I forgot I hit this egg inside the statue. I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. Hey, peanut! And he just casually walks up the level. Perfect. Oi! And that's... Well, that's pretty much the level we can go and leave now if we want. Where's the fun in that? Actually, I'd really love to go and just leave and be done with this game as fast as I can. Uh, but unfortunately... I have to go and do a little bit more. Now, this is one of the optional things. I should be doing this later, but heck with it. I'm gonna do it now. I hope you like skateboarding. It's back. Also, this music sounds odd. There we go. Now we got the reignited music again. Actually, working. Like, this sounds so much better than that crap that was the main level. I thought that was gems. <laughs> right, I'm not gonna go talk to you just yet. I'm just gonna go and collect all the gems first. Now, if I was a real pro, I would go and do this while, you know, doing the doing the challenge, which I just clearly me wanting me to do. But instead, I'm just gonna be doing this instead. He. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sparks doesn't pick up chance when I'm flying in this version. Oh wow, I can really slow down here. Is that something I can make? Oh, easily. Easily make that. Yeah, just for gems, that's literally the reason why I'm doing this. Oh, right, there's a balloon there. Oh, I can get it later. Apparently I've just faced planet there. Good. Good. Oh, this totally isn't gonna be annoying later. I might as well get used to this arena a bit now. And by get used to it, I mean... Just get these ge no remaining gems that I apparently haven't got yet. I, I was gonna say I thought I apparently missed, but no, I haven't actually missed this because. So I get off the board. Do you go back to the main area? You do not go back to the main area because of that. I forgot. Isn't this the wildest skateboard park you've ever seen? Once you've mastered a few tricks, you could really rack up a huge score in this place. What do you say I show you some moves? Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I'm not gonna harp for this. I'm not gonna make fun of the remake for this because this was in the original. But I could go and get the chorus record in Sunny Villa immediately. So if I got that, they would they should just give me the egg and let me skip this. Because now I have to go through a tutorial, even though I already know how to do tricks. So that's kind of dumb, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, I 
Thank you. This game is well made. Thank you very much. At least the resetting doesn't take five years. No five. I thought I would have the speed, but I don't know. Oh yeah, I have to be doing this like immediately. Nope, apparently I can't do big corp. Ah, well, whatever. Get 500 points. Wow, you learn really fast. Well, then again, you are being trained by a master boarder. Speaking of which, I was just practicing this nearly impossible new move that I call the Nasty Nork. I had just about pulled it off when suddenly I ran smack into this dragon egg and wiped out. Okay, I made that up, but you can still have this egg. Yeah, Nasty Nork. I think I've done that by accident already. Why can't you just talk to me immediately? Man. I think you're ready to try some one-on-one. -on -one. Wanna try a freestyle competition for points? Alright, whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. There we go, two minutes, most points wins. I start here, you start over there for the same for the same reason or I don't fucking know anymore. Yep. I apparently I did a, a triple twisted line, but whatever. Oh, there's a route that I normally take, but I'm not taking it for some reason. Yeah, but like a 4900 4, already, so like it's, it's I pretty much already won. Yeah, power point leave, 1000 there. I'm pretty confident I don't have to actually do anything anymore, I can just ride around for a minute. So I'll do this and then I'll just... I don't know, fast forward or something. I don't know. I can't believe it! How did you get so good already? Who knows? Maybe someday you'll even break my course record. <laughs> Mm, nah. Anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. I was gonna keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. You're kind of an asshole. If you're trapped to do that, you know. You can go for the course record now. now. It's the same thing that you said already. But yeah, literally, just one move, and that's all I had to do. Literally all I have to do. So I actually have to go and do something for this course record, so yeah. Sixteen thousand, that's good enough for me. It's probably good enough for the course record. But man, that opening trick. Oh yeah. There we go. Literally all I had to really do there. And now we go immediately back to the original because fuck that. What the fuck that word version? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep it open because I'm gonna go to another challenge soon anyway, so... Like, it's not a bad piece of music. Unfortunately, it just doesn't fit here whatsoever. It just doesn't work here at all. That's the reason why I don't like it. Oh, it's the same music again, because of course... They could be asked to change it. I was playing catch with my pet wolf Farley 
but I accidentally threw his ball down this hole, and he went in after it. Now he's stuck down there, and I feel so helpless, sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whimpers. Don't cry, wolf. Never cry, wolf. Did I mention that this sound, this voice acting is absolutely terrible? Because it is absolutely terrible. Anyway, yeah, here's the gimmick for this mission. You have a ball, you spit it somewhere, and Volker goes and gets it. So you put a ball on a switch, you go and put the switch here to let you go forward. And all the enemies are apparently very afraid of... Uh, Farley was his name? Like, I'm just gonna call him Wolfie. The all the enemies are super afraid of this guy. Uh, this wolf. Except for him, he's not afraid. So yeah, whatever, test that. Thank you. Puzzle! Ball goes over there. Well, the ball would go over there if the game would actually let the ball go over there. Ball goes over there. You let Wolf fade through. And you glide over yourself. Can you solve the puzzle? Now this is probably one of the hardest puzzles in the, in the game. Especially for this early part. This is kind of difficult. But anyway, the thing you do, you put the ball up there. This lowers it. Wolfie goes over there. You have to time it perfectly though. Which apparently is not a problem considering that the time seems to be super forgiving this time around, so whatever. And there's a wall. We go through the wall. And then there's this guy. We get rid of him. We get all the gems. We open the door. We're done. How, did, how the hell did I miss this? You found Farley. How can I ever thank you? I mean, I could give you this old egg, but Farley's been chewing on it and it's kind of slimy. Oh well, it's the thought that counts, right? Whatever. And that's it for this area. 64 eggs, so now we have the same amount of eggs as orbs. Step inside, I'll jump with Sergeant James Bird. I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the eyelids whenever you want me to. It's good to be back in action. Well, technically you already were back in action, but yeah. So here's a unique thing for this level, at this level only. This level is half Spyro, half Sergeant Bird. There are areas in this in this level that you physically cannot reach a Spyro. So you use Sergeant Bird to get to those areas. Also, these guys are back because of course they are back. How far does the missile actually go? How, how close do I have to get these guys? Well, somewhat close to them. But it's not that. Okay, that's, a, uh, that's another change that I really appreciate. When you hit the enemy, the gem immediately flies to you instead of you having to watch the enemy. Or watch those guys just fly into space. Because the one annoying thing about this that was if these guys flew into space and you didn't watch them, you didn't get the gem. So thank god they fixed that. Now you still gotta love the fact that the, the auto missile seems to be targeting whatever the fuck it wants. Because that makes total sense. I'm not. So yeah, I kind of don't. I'm not saying that this choice is good that I have to play as a Sergeant Bird or half the level is seeable but not accessible. Thanks to Sergeant Bird. 
But the fact that Sonic Bird is actually, you know, playable this time around, it does help. Also, I don't think I have to say anything about that. Just well-made game as always. Also, apparently a pop balloons. Yeah, I, there, are, there are some things that you need spiral on. As well, so... You can't do everything with Sergeant Bird, and you can't do everything with... Um, uh, spiral. You, know, you need both. Also, I didn't even go and talk to that, that guy again. Because I honestly don't care. It's not my problem. I'm just here to get to do this. I'm almost done with that actually. Now there's one thing I you need to be careful about this is you need to make sure you get all the gems that you as such a bird as you can. Because you do not want to switch back. Also since this is the main level, you can't just go back. You can't just go exit exit area and presume that you are back here. It doesn't work here. It doesn't work at all. Because this is technically the main level, so you can't exit an area. I missed the one up there. Really hard to see. I got it now. I got two as well. Which guy can I miss again? I got that one there. Ah, this one. Kinda love the fact that missiles seems to be aiming for these things, even though it clearly can't break them. Where the hell did that missile go? I'm fire here. Where does it go? It doesn't aim to lock towards anything. It does that. That just goes for that, even though it can't break it. Here, have this. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but I don't have room in my luggage. Now, there's probably an explanation why this guy is here. But I'm too lazy to figure it out. My friend is feeling much better now. Oh no, he started his bone dance again! So yeah, that's this bone dash that I skipped last time. Well, now you saw it. I'm ready to I'll be here when you need me. Yeah. Switch into spiral because there are two things that I need to go and break. Literally two things that I completely forgot were a thing, but they were they are a thing. And I'll be honestly super surprised if I haven't missed any anything. Because this is on really open level, so you are bound to miss something. No, don't even bother breaking, just disappear. Vanish completely. I have a bad feeling that I know exactly what I missed. I'm not sure if I can play Sparks for this one. I cannot because it was my fault. I missed that by myself. I can't blame Sparks. So the nice trick that I had is now broken again. But hey, three levels out of five without missing a gem is pretty decent. And I'm going through the back because I don't care. Oh, I like breaking games. Well, that didn't take lo as long as I thought it would. It's still 
was pretty long, probably. Hey now, let's head on over to the whirly gig. Let's head let's head over to the whirly gig. So yeah, the balloon is now gone, it's it's, it's been replaced by a whirly gig. But we're not gonna go there, there's well there's few things that I still need to do. And you can probably guess what that thing is. Anyway, yeah. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time. When we hopefully don't go back down to 29 lives. As we take on Country Speedway and the second boss. Which the game doesn't even bother hiding. <laughs>